The NAP Assessment Program, or NAP as we call it, isn't just limited to NAPLAN. ACARA also runs NAP Sample Assessments, which test Year 6 and Year 10 students' skills and understanding in three subjects, science literacy, civics and citizenship, and information and communication technology literacy. Since 2003, we've assessed one of these subjects each year on a rolling three-year basis. This has helped us identify growth and achievement in these subjects over time. This year, 2015, we're due to assess Year 6 students in science literacy. Our Year 10 students set the Program for International Student Assessment, known as PISA. We held trials in March with around 50 schools in New South Wales, Queensland, and Victoria. And we expect around 12,000 students to participate in the actual assessment in October and November. Back in 2013, we conducted our first NAP sample test online, the Civics and Citizenship Assessment. In addition to the data on students' learning and attitudes about civics and citizenship, we learned about issues to do with school readiness to go online. For example, the technical readiness test we supplied to schools in the months leading up to the assessment helped ensure that the devices being used met the minimum technical requirements and could run the testing software. We also learned more about the kinds of assistance that schools require during the assessment, such as on-call help desk staff. Last year, we conducted the NAP sample assessment for ICT literacy, also online. While the results of this assessment will be released in a public report later this year, we learned some more about online assessment, particularly that schools and students can successfully navigate in the online world. Next year, in 2016, we're due to do another Civics and Citizenship Assessment. This time, it will be conducted on the online assessment platform, which Education Services Australia has been building to move NAPLAN online. This is exciting because we will be able to sample thousands of students using the actual NAPLAN online assessment platform before we go live in 2017. It's an evolving area of work and I encourage you to have a look at some of the past NAP sample assessments on our website, www.nap.edu.au.